Thank you for clicking on this video. First, we're gonna start off with what some chinch bug lawn damage might look like. Uh, chinch bugs are most commonly going to affect St. Augustine grass, but they can affect other grass species as well, such as zoysia and Bermuda grass. A chinch bug problem can look like irregular yellow patches and can often be mistaken for a drought or heat stress. Chinch bugs can be identified using a float test. To do a float test, you need a regular sized coffee can and some water. You're going to put the metal can three inches into the soil and fill it three quarters of the way up with water. Repeat this for 10 minutes, making sure the water stays three quarters of the way up throughout. The water will go slowly into the soil, just keep an eye on it. Every few minutes, agitate the water. After those 10 minutes are up, check if any chinch bugs have floated to the top. Greater than 15 bugs per square foot is usually grounds for treatment. In my example, I did not have a chinch bug problem, but here's a picture of what it could look like. Adult chinch bugs are less than a quarter of an inch long, have black bodies, and have fully developed wings that appear frosty white, except for a distinctive triangular black patch. However, newly hatched nymphs appear orange red with a pale whitish band across their abdomens. As they molt through five growth stages, Nymphs gradually change from red to orange to black and develop wing pads as they develop. Cultural control options include keeping thatch to a minimum. Thatch is a layer of dead plant material between the grass and the soil below, usually consisting of leaves, limbs, and things from trees. Other cultural control options are proper and regular mowing, and aeration and application of a top dressing to the grass. With a chinch bug problem, you want to avoid excessive fertilization. An over-fertilized lawn is attractive to many pests. Slow-release fertilizers reduce the risk of over-fertilizing. Good cultural practices should eliminate the need for chemical treatments. However, if chemical control is needed, pyrethroid, bifenthrin, cyfluthrin, and other insecticides are recommended. To get a full list of these recommended insecticides, click the link that is attached to this video. Remember, when applying chemical treatments, the label is the law. Thank you for watching this video and leave any comments below on more information you'd like to hear about. For any questions, contact our office.